So, under the influence of this new moon in Sagittarius, what's it going to be like for Capricorns? Um, according to my tarot card results and the analysis of the plan planetary positions, mm -hmm. um, I can tell that um, you guys are not willing to spend money. But then the advice is that you have to spend this money because it's going to make you happy. Yep. Um, so, first of all, um, this new moon happens in your 12th house. But as there is no other aspect concerning this conjunction of the sun and the moon, um, your unwillingness to spend money is going to be um, amplified, it's going to be um, accelerated, yeah. So um, you're feeling like more and more unwilling to spend, spend this money, so you just want to hold, hold on to, to grasp this, grasp this money um, by yourself, yeah. But then, it is not a good, um, good um, behaviour, it is not recommended by tarot cards, nor the stars. Why? Um, anyways, I'm just going to um, talk about the stars, which also point to the fact that you're not willing to spend money, which is that um, the retrograding Uranus, or Uranus, I don't know um, what you guys say. Some people say Uranus, some people say Ur Uranus, okay? Anyways, I say both, okay? So the retrograding U planet, okay, is in your fifth house. And it is a it is opposed, which means there is an opposition between this Uranus, this U planet, and Mars, which is in John Missile in Scorpion. Okay? Uh, that is your 11th house. Okay. So it is saying that your money is being burned. The stars are burning your money. So you have to spend lots of money. But why did I say that you have to spend this money? It is because to make yourself, you have to make yourself happy. Why? Because um, your own ruler, Saturn, is in your own house, okay? And it is trining two stars. The first star is in your third house, and it is the um, Neptune in your, in your third house, and is, it is also domicile in a really strong position. And it is, um, and Saturn is also trining Mercury in your 11th house, yeah, and as Mercury is in the um, post-shadow period after the Mercury retrograde, which lots of people have been talking about, okay, so it means that you have to spend this money because first, you have to fulfill your dreams, you have to fulfill your life goals, especially when these goals and dreams concern water. So for example, if you want to open um, a beverage business, a beverage business, okay? Or you want to have some, um, or you just want to buy an aquarium and put it in your home to to have some um, fish as your pets, okay? Or um, I don't know if you if, if you want to um, open up a, a wine business, or if you yeah. So any things um, like any dreams and goals, especially those concerning water. Concerning liquid, okay? So you want to fulfill these goals. You want to make these dreams come true. And of course, you have to spend money on that. And the second thing is that um, you're going to see lots of good old friends, especially um, nearby water, okay? So let's say one, one day you're strolling around uh, just along the seashore and then suddenly just bump into an old friend, okay? Expe especially these old friends are um, your... Um, college college friends, collegiate friends, so your old schoolmates from college, or, or some people say university, okay? Or when these are your ex-subordinates, so you guys work together, used to work together, but then those, uh, they were your subordinates, okay? Mm -hmm. Or if you knew these guys from, from abroad, okay? You met them, for example, in, I don't know, in, in Europe, and Tibet, okay, you guys met abroad, or when there was once this um, caring relationship between you guys. So for example, you were a patient and there was a doctor, so um, the doctor took good care of you. So you're going to meet lots of these people from the past. And then, of course, when people meet, they have a drink and or they have dinner, and you have to spend money on that, okay? So as there are lots of these encounterings in in your um, in this coming period, you're going to spend more money. But then 
it is happy money. So you really have to spend this money to please yourself. So good luck to you. And um, there are two um, pieces of advice. The first of all is this, um, on the 11th of December, or plus or minus one day, um, just be aware of some, some really mi minor um, sickness, okay? For example, just, um, just, just minor cold or headaches. And um, those people who are healthy for you, I mean, who are beneficial for you, are those with a water sign. So Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Yeah, so good luck to all of you.